Very crispy, isn't it? Let's make them today. Hi and welcome back to Garfin's Creation. In today's video, we'll be making this crispy, no-bake chicken patties. So called as layered or butterfly patties. To make the chicken puffs, you find all the ingredients in the description box below. So let's begin. Let's begin by kneading the dough first. I have sieved two and a half cups of maida or all-purpose flour. To that, I'll be adding half a teaspoon of salt. I'll also be adding two tablespoons of ghee, also called as clarified butter. Now we'll mix all the ingredients together. We will rub the ghee to the flour so we get a nice sand-like texture. You can use both your hands and rub the ghee and the maida together. By doing so, all the maida will be coated with the ghee. This will add the flakiness to the puffs. This may take a little time, but just make sure the maida is well rubbed with the ghee. And you can stop when you press the flour into your hands and it holds its shape. Now I have taken 3 4 cup of water, that is 150 ml room temperature water and I will now knead this into a dough. We need a dough that is not too soft or not too hard, just a medium type of dough. You may need approximate 3 foot cup of water, depending on the flour you might need a little more or less. So add the water gradually till you get the dough formed. So now even if you do not have an oven, you can make this chicken puff or chicken patties at home. These are very easy to make but only need a little patience to make them. Once the dough is formed, I will just knead it for a minute or so. And there you can see our dough is ready. We will now cover this with a napkin and let the dough rest for at least half an hour. The next step is to make the paste which we will need to put in between the layers. For this I have taken 3 tablespoons of corn flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix both the ingredients well now. To this I'll be adding 2 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter. Mix all the ingredients well and we'll get a nice smooth paste from this. This will be used in between the two layers of a chapati so that you get good layers for the puffs. Once this is mixed well, this is how it would look. Now we'll keep this aside and go to the next step. Next, let's prepare the mince filling for the patties. To make the chicken filling, just heat a pan and add 1 tablespoon of cooking oil into it. Once the oil is hot, add half a teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds. We will also need to cut and keep 2 onions, 2 chilies and some green onions too. Once the jeera starts spluttering, we will add the finely diced onions. We will cook this onion till they are little bit soft. I'll be using chicken mince today, but you can always substitute the chicken mince with other mince too. And for those who are vegetarians, you can use soya granules in place of this chicken. Keep on stirring the onion and continue cooking them till they are little bit soft. Now the onions are cooked, I'll add the finely chopped chilies and 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Mix all of it and now we'll continue cooking this till the ginger is fully cooked and the rawness of it is gone. I will continue cooking on medium flame for another minute. You can use the same chicken mince filling for making potato chops, chicken spring rolls and even chicken parathas. Once this is done, I'll be adding quarter kg of chicken mince now. We will not use any water to cook the chicken. Once you have added the chicken, just mix it well so that there are no lumps left. I'll mix the chicken well and stir fry it for a minute. And then I'll be adding half a teaspoon of salt. Mix the salt as well. We will now close this with a lid and let it cook for at least 5 minutes. 
You need to keep checking in between and keep stirring it so that the chicken mince do not get burned. We will continue cooking the chicken for 5 to 6 minutes and after that we will add some spices to it. The chicken looks almost cooked and now I'll be adding some haldi powder, garam masala powder, chili powder and some dhania powder. You will find the detailed recipe in the description box below with all the ingredients used in this recipe. Now mix in all those spices and give it a good stir. And we'll just continue cooking this with the lid on for a minute or so. To make it more tastier you can add half a chicken cube here. Or you can also use half a teaspoon of aromat powder here. Again after one minute, we will stir it once more. Add the finely chopped spring onions. This is totally optional. Then I'll be adding one teaspoon lemon juice and some freshly cut coriander leaves. You can add more or less spring onions. This is completely optional. You can even skip it. Now mix all that well and cook it for a few seconds and our delicious chicken mince is ready. We need to cool this completely before we could stuff it into the chicken patties. As we have everything ready now, let's make the chicken patties. It's been half an hour that the patties dough is well rested. I will just knead it for a few seconds. Rolling the dough becomes easy when it is well rested. So do keep it for at least half an hour. By now the dough is nice and smooth. I will now divide this into four portions. We will now roll each dough into a large chapati. And for each roll I will require two large chapatis. We will be placing two chapatis one over the other with the little paste we had prepared and then roll it. So this is the first chapati that I am rolling out. You can use little maida to dust the table and then roll it out. I will be rolling this a little thicker than the usual chapati. So now this is done and you can see it is a little thicker. We will keep that aside for some time and then take the next portion and roll that too into a large chapati. These butterfly patties or layered patties remain crispy for quite a long time. To make layered nevris or gujiyas, use the same technique of this patties and only substitute the chicken filling with the nevri filling. So I have almost finished rolling the second chapati too and this would be around approximate 10 inches large in size. Now we will start spreading the corn flour paste which we had prepared earlier. To make things easier, you can divide that paste into four portions. And I am spreading the first portion over the one chapati what we had prepared now. After spreading it evenly, place the previous chapati what we had prepared and kept it aside. See that it covers the previous chapati well. You can stretch it to reach all the corners of the chapati. Now once this is done, we will be spreading the corn flour paste again over this. So all you have to do is divide the dough into four portions and also divide the corn flour paste also into four portions. So we will be using two portions of the dough and two portions of the corn flour paste for one roll. Spread the corn flour paste with a brush or an offset spatula or you can also use your hands to do the same. So now I have finished spreading the corn flour paste for the second time on the second chapati as well. I will start rolling from one end of the chapati and moving it towards the center. We will roll this a little tightly so that there is no space in between. Keep rolling till you reach the other end of the chapati. 
So now after rolling, this is how the roll would look like. So from the four portion of the dough that we had made, we will get two rolls like this. I just trim off the sides and be cutting small portions of one inch in size. The edges that is left, we can use this in the other dough and mix it with that and roll it into a large chapatis. So now you can also check the layers that you get from this roll. I will just keep it on a plate and cover it with a napkin. To make the layered puff, I have just taken one portion now. And the two sides having the layers, I'll press it in the center of it. And using a rolling pin, very gently roll out towards the ends. Make sure not to roll the layers part too much. And then roll it very gently to the size that you would desire. Either you can roll it to make large ones or smaller ones. Only make sure that the layers are not pressed too much. I'll use little water on my fingertips to seal the puff. You can also use a brush and just apply little water all round it. We will now add the chicken mince that we had prepared. I'll be adding approximate 2 teaspoons of the filling. Put the filling in the center of the patties and avoid the edges so that we can fold that very well and nothing comes out while they are being fried. Lift the other end of the dough and place it over and press it gently all round. Do not press the layered part. As you can see, I am pressing the inner portion very close to the chicken filling. Make sure that none of the filling is coming out and only press the inner portion well. Now let's make once more. Only be gentle while rolling the layers so that they do not get pressed too much and they puff up well while they are being fried. We'll make all the other patties in the same way. Roll out the other dough which we had kept and prepare the rolls and cut them and prepare the patties in the same way. So with two and a half cups of maida or all purpose flour, you'll get around 16 to 18 patties. Chicken puffs or chicken patties are everyone's favorite. So now you can make this in an easy way at home without being baked. So now I'll be pressing this one too very close to the filling only making sure that is well pressed so that the filling does not come out so this pattern too is ready and I'll be making the rest of it all in the same way while you keep making all the patties make sure to keep it covered with a napkin so that it do not get dried out Let's fry the chicken patties now. For that I have heated a sufficient oil in a kadai and added a small piece of the dough to check the oil. I have heated the oil on medium flame. I will now reduce the flame and add the patties a few at a time. We will be frying this on medium to very low flame. I have reduced the flame and kept it on low. We will keep moving and flipping the patties. We will fry them till they are nice golden brown. Frying the patties on low flame for a longer time will make the patties nice and crispy. To fry this patties may take a little more time. You can use a larger vessel and fry more patties at a single time. As they get fried, the layers will start opening up. Only be gentle while you flip them. These have got a nice color and I'll be taking them out of the oil. You can see the layers. They are well open up. You can continue frying it for a little more longer if you require a darker color. Just drain off all the excess oil and place them on a kitchen tissue paper. 
Just follow the little tips that I have shared in this video and you too will be making this beautiful butterfly patties. Continue frying the rest of the patties in the same way. Just keep the flame on low so that it fries well and gets well crispy. It's so nice of you to watch this video till here. Continue watching as I break one to show you how crispy these butterfly patties are. I hope you'll be trying this layered patties soon and do post a picture of it on my Facebook page. When you have tried this recipe and you would like to share your joy with me, you can also DM me on my Facebook Messenger. Also put a picture there too. Let's break one and check it out. You can also check out that inside beautiful layers. Thanks for watching and do share this video with others as well. Do subscribe to Garfin's Creation so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. Meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.